Okay, so today's video is called Parenting Advice from a Former Child. <laughs> Put the needle on the I don't know where I come up with these titles, but whatever. Um, but yeah, if you're new here, I am Diamond. The streets raised me, but I'm gonna help you raise your kid. I don't have any kids, so don't don't listen to everything I say unless it's actually good advice. <laughs> I don't have any kids, but I've been around a lot of kids. You know, I've worked with kids. I've done a lot of stuff about you know whatever, and I was a kid, so I know what I would like. So, got a couple tips here for you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, so I have ten tips, and the first one is do not leave your children with anyone for an extended period of time which is months or years. I don't care if it's mama, auntie, uncle, sister. Don't leave your kids for um, a year, 10 years with one person who isn't you. You know, if the child, you know, if something is something happened to you and then that's the only way the child would get like care, fine, right? But knowing you're alive and knowing you know you're well and you're healthy and then you're just not there what is the reason you know for me my mom left me when i was like two <laughs> i'm damaged <laughs> um but whatever so my mom left me when i was two right and growing up you know all the shit that happened to me when i was growing up all i could think about is why would she leave me, you know? I would prefer if we were here, if she was here and we were poor and we were struggling, but we were poor and we were struggling together. You know what I'm saying? I really, really wish she had stayed because then I would have a relationship with her and everything would have been way better. So take, take my advice, okay? Don't leave your kids. Don't leave your kids. I mean, obviously like summer vacation, you know, leaving them with someone for a month, you know for a change of scenery that's totally fine that's totally healthy because you know they can't be around you all the time because you crazy um but but um like leaving them for like a year you know five years ten years with one person that is not their mother or father that's crazy okay it's very damaging and i don't care who it is that person is gonna gonna do stuff to your children that you wouldn't do to your child and your child is going to be damaged from that situation or they're going to leave the child you know one day and then something else is going to happen to the child that you would have let happen to the child so that's another situation it could have been avoided so just don't leave your kids just don't don't leave your kids okay the second one is don't force your children to eat everything off their plate ask them if you're if they're hungry and how much they want to eat if they say they are full then save the food for later and you know whenever they're hungry again you can give it to them okay when i was younger um we didn't have much food when i was like really really young till like uh, age 14 probably we didn't have much food i was just like excited to eat you get what i'm saying i was skinny and like weak looking and I was excited to eat. I was so happy when I got food and I was just like, oh my God. Sometimes I got so nervous and I'd shake, I'd drop the plate and the food would like spill out on the floor. And I was like, as I was young, whatever. The, sp the food would spill on the floor and I just put it up, pick it up on the, put it back in the plate and I'd stay right there where it fell and I'd eat there. And then I'd you know, go back later and clean up the area or whatever. That's how weak and sickly and then hungry I was as a child, right? When I get when I got um, to like I think maybe 13, 14 when I came and I lived with my mom for the first time because I'm back here living with her again. When I came back to her, it was more of a we had food, right? Because she always bought food. She always bought little you know snacks and stuff like that and food, actual food. We used to call I used to call her organic because she didn't buy anything that wasn't organic and, and expensive and you know healthy and the best. So I used to call her organic. That was a little running gag that we had. We used to laugh at that and she used to whatever. Anyway, so when I came, there was food. So I was excited. I was like, yes, you know, I was just eating, 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 eating. I was, everything that I saw, I just wanted to eat. I was just so happy for the food. <laughs> and um, it was it was between 
you're eating too much and you're, you're fat, you know, your, your boobs are too big for your age, you know, it was between that or you're not eating enough. You need to clean your plate. You need to sit there and eat everything off your plate. So I'd be sitting there for hours, you know, I'd fall asleep in the plate. And I guess my stomach, the food would digest and, and you know, whatever, and then I'd get hungry again and then I'd eat, you know? So I'd be sitting at the, at the table with the plate for hours in the night, you know? She'd wake up and she'd turn the lights on and I'd be sitting there at the table just the same with the plate because she told me not to move until I finished the food. So I didn't move because I didn't want to get my ass beat, okay? So it's very unhealthy. If her child is full, take the plate up, give it to them another time. It's not that serious, okay? Damaging your child for something so simple, it's not that serious, okay? And number three, don't send your children to too far to school. Uh, that is added stress to get to and from school. They gotta wake up earlier than normal and if they have an emergency, they can't get home quickly enough. Now for me, uh, for, um, Basic school, I walk to school. For primary school, I walk, well basic school, I feel like that's what uh, people call it, different things in different countries, but basic school is like when you're a baby. So for basic school, I walk to school by myself. <laughs> Love that. For primary school, I walk to school by myself. It was a good little distance in a bad area, but everybody knew me and knew my grandma and stuff, so that was all right. Um, a couple times I passed dead bodies on the road, <laughs> trust me, and I was like, oh my god, I stepped over dead bodies going to school many times. Um, but whatever, it was a bad area. Anyway, so, um, I walked to school and I did this, you know, and then, uh, primary school now when I was getting, like, older, it was like, you know, you know, approaching my teen years, it was like nine, you know, eight, nine, ten, whatever. Um for the ending stages, which is like grade four, five, and six, I started having more like, like I had to go to the bathroom a lot more. I don't know what happened to me in those years, but because I was the, I was a top student in my school, I got the highest grades and I was the top and I, whatever. So I had like a special pass I was a poorest, I don't know, I just told myself I was the poorest one there, and I had my little lunch kit and stuff, but most of the times, my grandma would send me, tell me to come home for lunch. Because I was a top student, I got a special pass, and I could leave the school whenever I wanted to, and I'd come back whenever I wanted to. That's just, just, just is how I was, okay? I was just up there. Um, so I used to like go home for lunch and I'd, you know, sleep. <laughs> I'd eat, my grandma would cook and I'd, you know, I'd walk back to school, right? But a lot of times, let's say I had a belly ache and I wanted to use a toilet, you know, walking that far home, you get what I'm saying? It was, it was a good distance for me to walk every single day to, to school then back home for lunch, then back to school, then back home. You get what I'm saying? It was a very good distance. Probably that was one of the reasons why I was so skinny. Ciao. Anyway, so um, don't, send your, don't, don't send your kids too far to school because they might have an emergency. And if it's, if it's somewhere there that they have to walk or they have to take the bus, I could have taken the bus, which would have you know, saved me a lot of time, but I was poor, as I said. I just had to walk. We didn't have, she didn't give me any money. It was like grade six where she gave me like um, $10 and in Jamaican money that's like 10 cents. So <laughs> that really couldn't have did any, done anything. I'd have to save like a week <laughs> for me to have, you know, whatever. So anyways, so um, don't send your kids too far to school, okay? Make sure they're in like walking distance. It's not too far, whatever, they're safe. Okay? They can run home and a lot of the times too When I was like going home for lunch, I'd hear gunshots. I'd hear Screaming, you know, and I just start the speed walk, you know But that could have been avoided if I was living A little bit closer to a school that I went to. Their school's closer. I think was there? I don't know, but whatever 
whatever that's beside the point let me not go on for any longer okay so the fourth one is uh, it's 10 minutes lord okay so the fourth one is let them make choices like what clothes they want to wear uh number five let them see your emotions it helps them express themselves because they see healthy expression around them and they emulate your kids do what you do they see you do stuff and they do what you do so if you're around them and you don't cry you're tough you don't cry you don't talk about your emotions because you're a man you're a woman and you're just like fake because we all know we all cry we all have issues we all feel stuff we're alive okay so if you make your kids if you grow your kids up like that they're gonna be bullying people because they're gonna be like oh why is this person crying you know why is this person feeling like this i don't feel like this you know um don't hit your children if you raise them you know if you're if you're doing it as much as you should and you raise them a certain way you won't have to like hit them and abuse them just do your job as a parent okay nobody's gonna be perfect obviously and you're not gonna be they're not gonna be perfect you're not gonna be perfect but don't abuse your kids okay if you're gonna hit them make sure it's just like a you know like a backhand or you know or something like that you know what i'm saying don't like abuse them and then they got waves in their face and and the waves supposed to be in your hair okay that was a late joke my bad um what else oh so that same thing with the don't hit your children what i was saying is don't even yell at them too much because they're gonna yell at other people so as i said whatever you do to your kids they emulate you and they do it to other kids other people whatever so you're yelling at them they're gonna be yelling at other people even if they're quiet around you and they just like feel a certain way around you yelling them, uh, you yelling at them they're gonna go out and they're gonna be tougher and they're gonna be yelling at people and you know they're not gonna see an issue with it because whatever right so don't do that um whenever you yell at your kids they should be like oh, dad just yell at us mom just yell at us what that doesn't happen often we really did something wrong this time we gotta fix this you know what i'm saying it shouldn't be like oh she's always yelling you know she's always yelling she's crazy you know you know what i'm saying okay number seven don't let your children go anywhere they they please set boundaries time limits etc they should have freedom but once they are under 18 they need to adhere to your rules hey mom can i go here the first thing you think is oh do i know this person where do they live you don't always have to do this you know what i'm saying you gotta sometimes trust your children but don't don't let um you wanting to trust them and you wanting to you know let them have their freedom mean they're gonna run wild and just go all over the place and go everywhere and do everything that doesn't make any sense that's not safe okay naturally we're not safe okay especially as i said if your kids are black the difficulty level has increased um so just try to figure out where they're going if you're going places and try to you know keep them as safe as possible anyways number eight compliment your children and praise them when they do well don't only tell them when they did something wrong that is not good for their mental health also let them feel comfortable enough to tell you most things without fear and listen to them now for my mom my mom if i do something wrong she's gonna tell me immediately oh my god or sometimes she saves it up and she just tells me like every like everything i did wrong for this week on saturday she was like okay this is what you did 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 i'm just like like bro <laughs> you know it's totally fine to tell people negative things that they do but also tell them the positives you get what i'm saying so it's just like like everything you say to this person is a negative thing you get what i'm saying what that is never going to be good for anyone all right especially children so if you're gonna say wow no if you're gonna say you didn't do this or you didn't pick up this or you didn't you know clean this or you didn't do that you should also be saying okay wow and i saw that you did this and i saw that you did that you know what i'm saying let it be a balance don't only as my mom says um if i don't if i don't talk to you about it that means you did good no no 
that means you lack the emotional capacity to to um to compliment someone and make someone feel good and, and want to see that person smile the only thing that can come out your mouth is something negative that's going to affect that person negatively because it is negative okay so don't only say oh you did this wrong you did that wrong you should have done this better and this wasn't good and no you need to do this and say oh this was great you know whatever positive positives that's that's really what you know you get what i'm saying you can't be a positive person without positive reinforcement and affirmations and all that good stuff anyways um number nine take them out and have fun with them um create good memories they can reflect on long after you're dead and i put dead in my uh, notes a lot <laughs> i'm a fan I'm a fan anyways um create memories with your kids okay i don't have any memories with my mother which is sad and i live with her okay i don't have a photo with my mother and i live with her okay so that create memories with your kids you know talk to your kids i can't even talk about my dad because i have so many pictures with my dad i have i've been so many different places with my dad and my dad's fun you know <laughs> But that's cool, you know, I got a cool dad, you know, he talks to me, he motivates me, he tells me stuff I do wrong, he, you know, tells me good stuff I did, you know, we're just balanced, you know, we're just cool, you know, nice, <laughs> he's not perfect, no, but we're better, right, we're getting better, and we're maturing, and we're learning, um, my mom is different, whatever, <laughs> anyways, um, so create memories with your, with your kids, um, don't only think about money, Oh, I'm so poor, I can't go here. Oh, I'm so poor, I can't do this. It's not always about money. Your kids love to be around you. It doesn't matter how they act. Everybody loves to be around their parents, which, I mean, we came from the parents, right? So, this is the first, it's supposed to be your first role model, the first person who shows you everything and does everything for you. So if 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 you're not bringing your kids different places and your kids gotta go and go out into the world and figure out everything for themselves, that's another thing that's not healthy you know i know some people who some women who have daddy issues as they say or mommy issues or whatever they could tell you you know this part of the city and this part of this and they can tell you everywhere that they've been you know but they had to experience it with friends or experience it alone because they never went anywhere with their parents you get what i'm saying go out with your kids let your kids say oh mom i went here with my mom before oh you know i oh i already rode that ride you get what i'm saying like like period you know let your kids have that to say don't let them be like oh my god i never came here before my mom didn't take me here i asked her and she she told me you get what i'm saying or if it's something where as i said with money um if it's something that has to do with money all you have to do is do free stuff go to the beach go on a road trip even though that's really not free because you got to pay for gas but you know as cheap as possible you know and they will remember and they will love you for it kids don't really think about money like how you think about money and, and finances and stuff they don't they think about the time it takes for you to do that and you didn't take the time when you could have taken the time everyone has time and can create time for something that they want to do there's nobody who who can say i don't have the time for this no one especially something that's important you can find the time if it's even a, an hour you can find the time okay the final one number 10 is that number 10 right number 10 is do not compare their looks grades attitudes etc with other children everyone is different and reacts differently according to each situation whatever so don't say oh you know your friend's so pretty you know i wish um that's really how i wanted my daughter to, my daughter to look you know who says that you know <laughs> i tell you i am damaged i am damaged anyway so um oh your nose you know you need to straighten your nose you know your nose is too flat your your, your eyebrows you know you need to what, what why is your skin like that you know what i'm saying this person look at this person's skin and look at look at how this person eats you know you know it's it's damaging your kids don't compare them 
to their other siblings. Don't compare them to other children. Don't compare them to yourself. Everyone is different. I don't care what age or whatever you are. Every single person on this earth is different. Um, we're the same, we're similar, but we're different. Um, yeah, that's it. I've, it's been 20 minutes now. I'm not gonna edit this. This is another video. I'm not gonna edit. My throat is hurting me. But as I said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace.